Hey guys, Tropix here, and welcome back to another video, and today I will be sharing with you guys five tips on how to grow on Twitch. Now, I've gotten this question a lot recently on, uh, you know, videos and in my Discord server. If you want to join my Discord server, by the way, there's a link in the description. Uh, great place to hang out with everybody, but anyways, I've been getting a lot of comments um, from people asking how, you know, how do I... You've get, you give me these tutorials on how to stream on Twitch and how to add all these cool little gadgets and whatnot, but how do I actually get viewers? Now, this is, this is a really common question. And I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of advice slash tips for you guys so you can grow on, on Twitch because it's it's honestly a very hard platform to get some viewer engagement on. It's a lot easier to get viewers on YouTube because you just got to do what's popular, you got to do what people like. Uh, on Twitch, it's kind of just mainly luck, honestly, if you, uh, it all depends, like you see somebody scrolling down, right, and if they click on your stream, that's basically out of luck. I don't know, man. Twitch is a really hard site to gain some popularity on, so without further ado, let's get right into the five tips and tricks I have. So, number one, stream frequently. Now, I say this because um, if you don't stream frequently, your viewers do not know when you are going to stream, thus decreasing your viewer engagement. If Okay, say you don't have a lot of time on your hands and you can't really stream too frequently. Well, um, there's a solution to that as well. You can actually set up a schedule, so you can say, hey guys, I'm going to stream Monday at 5, um, Wednesday at 9, uh, Friday at 1 o'clock, and I'm going to stream Sunday all day. You can say something like that, and um, your viewers will come back and watch you, you know? You, you got to kind of uh, talk to your viewers and tell them when you're going to stream. You know, put it in your biography down below, in your About Me section, put a streaming schedule there. Uh, that'll let them know when you're going to stream, and thus increasing your viewer engagement and your friendship with your viewers. You want people to come back. Um, that's a very, very essential part to growing, is you want people to come back to your stream. Um, because the people coming back, and then new people coming in, that increases your viewers, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, stream frequently, um, if you do have a lot of time on your hands. If you stream every day, you don't really need to schedule. Um, you can just stream whenever every day and people will probably join. I did it for about two weeks. I streamed every day for two weeks. And I had about a 20 viewer average, I'd say. And it was actually really fun talking to you guys in the Twitch chat and stuff. Um, but that brings me to my next subject. Number two, always pay attention to your viewers. If you don't pay attention to your viewers, then they will leave. It's as simple as that. They, they will leave your stream and they will not like you anymore. If you're only getting like five viewers and you keep ignoring your viewers, you're not going to get any more viewers. That's why you only have five viewers, is because you're not paying attention to the people in your stream. Even if they say some dumbass shit like, hey man, your dick's like five inches, like, yeah, just don't pay attention to that. Just respond to them. Just like, just like joke around with them or something. I, I don't know. It, it depends on the type of person you are. See, if you're a person who just doesn't take insults very lightly, um, you can, you can go you know, crazy with the band hammer, or if you're more of a jokey person, kind of like myself, just make a joke about it, and maybe the guy is was actually kidding, and you he's going to come back to your stream one day, but um, it's also good to talk to your viewers, um, because it builds friendships and relationships, and when you build a friendship with somebody, they're going to come back to watch you, and you can talk to them, and um, it keeps you from getting bored, it also keeps um, awkward silences at a, at a low, there's never going to be any awkward silences if you're constantly talking to your viewers. So whenever you see a viewer in there, keep checking that viewers tab. Whenever you see a viewer in there, like welcome them and just ask them how their day's going and they will stay. I promise you. All right. So um, on to topic number three, look professional. Well, now I don't mean like, you know, your face or anything to look professional or you, you don't got to dress up in a tuxedo. Looking professional, I mean, adding a stream overlay, um, adding nice little buttons on the bottom of your channel, making your title nice, um, you know, general stuff like that, you know, be professional, um, use nice quality equipment, um, you know, be respectful in the chat, uh, do all sorts of stuff to, I don't know, look professional, I guess. I don't, I, I don't really, um know what else you would do to look professional, but I, I thought I'd put this in here because, um, you know, follow alerts too, that's that's another thing about being professional, follow alerts, overlays, um, offline banner things, nice profile picture, a brand, 
uh, stream schedules, you know, general stuff like that. Just the small things. You know, it always helps. It, it lets your viewers know that you're actually a really organized person and that you're serious about this streaming business and that they'll come back to support you. Maybe even donate to you. Who knows, man? Add a donation button. It seems scummy to add a donation button, but trust me, some people out there will donate to you if you like, if they like your personality. Um, I myself don't have a donate button because I'm not too big of a Twitch streamer. But I've been on the site long enough to know what works, if you guys were wondering. I'm not I'm not a giant Twitch streamer, right? I just know what works and what doesn't because I've, I've been on Twitch for a few years now. And um, I've gained a lot of kind of experience, I guess you could say. But anyways, that brings me into my next topic. Number four. Have the right tools for the fucking job, man. So, I can't tell you how many streams I've watched with people who just have really, really shitty mics, man. Now, I'm not saying you gotta go and buy a fucking a Yeti mic like me and spend 120 bucks. I mean, you can do that, but I wouldn't do it if it's your first time streaming, because who knows if you're even gonna like streaming, you know? I would start with just a simple headset that has a decent mic, okay? You can get one for like 60 bucks. You can get like one of the Razer headsets that are really nice. Um, make sure you have a nice mic. Uh, make your streaming settings nice. At least stream at 720p at 30 frames per second. Because if you stream anything below that, it's going to look like shit. I don't think you could pull a 480p stream off, in my opinion. But it, you, you'd have to be a really charismatic guy. You'd, you'd need to know how to talk to people if you wanted to pull up a fucking 480p stream. Now, I'm not saying you got to get some $2,000 computer. Just, just get what works for the type of videos and content you're going to be making on Twitch. Um, let's see, what else have in the right tools for the job? That's pretty much it. Have a nice mic and a nice computer. Good internet as well. You need a good internet if you're gonna stream on Twitch. That's the fuck. That's an essential. Uh, you need at least about five megabytes per second upload speed. Um, the download speed really does not matter. If you want all the technical specifications, go watch my um, Twitch streaming tutorial. That'll tell you all about, um, you know, all of that stuff. And uh, oh yeah, using the right tools. Use OBS, not XSplit. XSplit is shit. OBS is the best. Do not waste your money on XSplit. It is a fucking scam. No, I'm just kidding. But you can use whatever you want. XSplit is not that bad, but I recommend OBS, of course, because it's my favorite. Anyways, um, yeah, just have the right tools for the job. Be fucking prepared. Do not come up on Twitch with a shit mic. People will not appreciate that at all unless you're like Phantom Lord and you just yell at your mic whenever you get off Dragon Lords and Counter-Strike. It's, it's just not going to work. So um, that brings me to the last topic. Um... Why do I say that brings me to the last topic? I, that brings me. I gotta work on my, like, introductions to things. Anyways, the fifth topic, be yourself. Okay, so I can't tell you how many clones I've ran into on Twitch, meaning... Okay, say say you're watching Lyric, right? And, and you have somebody that, you, that you're watching, and you're just kind of looking at the game section. You scroll all the way down, you see somebody who has only, like, two viewers. Um... And he's acting exactly like a really popular Twitch streamer. You know, he is not going to get any views. Because if they wanted to watch somebody that's just like him, they'd obviously watch the more popular person. Be yourself. Be original. Be different than the others, man. That's the reason why people are going to watch you. They can watch a, a thousand other people playing the same game that you're playing. It's the personality that makes the Twitch channel. Not your skill. Not anything like that, man. It's the personality. Talk to your viewers, you know, be a respectful type of person. I mean, if you're an asshole, be an asshole. If that's who you are, be yourself, man. See, me, I'm kind of more of like a... I don't talk too much in my streams, but when I do, I try to be comedic. That's my, that's my main goal is to make people laugh, I guess. I don't really rage that much, only if I'm playing like Counter-Strike or something, but, you know, be yourself. Just, just don't copy anybody. You don't want to be one of those clones of popular streamers or just anybody in general. Be yourself, make your Twitch content original, and uh, you will start getting a good amount of viewers, I promise you. Uh, if, you if, if you do all these tips, you know, you stream... God damn it, I got a Skype message. Um, anyways, um, if you do all of those tips that I just told you, you will probably succeed on Twitch if you do them all. And... Um, the most important one is to stream frequently. It doesn't matter if you're a clone. If you stream frequently, people will still watch you, man, because you'll get a shit ton of followers. Here's another thing I gotta tell you guys. Do not beg for follows. People hate that shit when you beg for follows, man. It's terrible. Like, ugh. It just... Whenever I hear somebody beg for a follow, I exit out their stream because I'm like, really, dude? I mean, you, you gotta kind of be passive-aggressive about it. You gotta be like, uh... 
hey man, you can follow if you want. Or you can have an incentive, like, hey, if you follow, my follower alert's gonna play in some sick-ass music, you know, be, don't, don't be too serious about it, just, just, just be yourself, be yourself, man. Um, you know, do the fifth tip I told you guys, be yourself. But, uh, that's basically all the tips I have. Follow all those and you might succeed on Twitch. If you agreed with this top five thing, I don't know, I've never made a top five video, it's actually my first top five video I've ever made, so. If you guys agree with all these, let me know in the comments. Um, if you don't agree with them, also let me know in the comments. Like this video if you enjoyed the video, dislike it if these, you know, you don't agree with me. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot.